Tracy, thank you. WJZ Complete Coverage continues with Rick Ritter with more on the type of missiles launched and their firepower. Rick? Well, Jess, these missiles are extremely accurate using GPS type guidance. They are designed to take out fixed targets exactly what they did overnight. Nearly five dozen Tomahawk missiles were used to destroy a Western Syria air base overnight, leaving many wondering what exactly Tomahawks are. The missiles can travel as far as 900 miles, moving at 550 miles per hour, weighing as much as 3,500 pounds each. A jet engine powered weapon many figured the U.S. would rely on to take action. Well, I wasn't at all surprised. The Tomahawk is one of those tried and tested combat weapons that's often the first to strike. It's been used in Operation Iraqi Freedom in Libya in 2011. Chris Osborne is the managing editor for Scout Warrior and editor in chief for Defense Systems. Osborne says the missiles are extremely accurate, allowing attackers to be at a safer distance. It's long range and it can destroy fixed targets, enemy bunkers, command and control. It uses GPS guidance and inertial measurement units to pinpoint targets. Tomahawks can be launched from many different surfaces, but the U.S. generally uses Navy cruisers or destroyers or sometimes even submarines. The U.S. defense contractor Raytheon makes the Tomahawk. Each has the ability to send back information almost like a surveillance asset. Osborne says in a few years, the missiles will be even more effective, eyeing all possible targets. That is the goal for the future of the weapon is to not only destroy fixed targets, but also be effective against moving targets. According to the Navy, the missiles hit their targets about 85% of the time. Jess? Rick, thank you. And stay right here with WJZ for complete coverage of this serious strike. We will bring you the very latest updates at 530 and 6 o'clock at any time at CBSBaltimore.com.